If you're looking for the latest news and rumors around the Baltimore Ravens, well, you're in the right place. So hit that sub button because more subs equals more videos. And I don't want you guys to miss anything during the offseason. There's going to be a lot of stuff that happens. Don't be the guy that shows up to the bar and you're like, well, this happened. And somebody's like, no, that never happened. Hit the sub button. More subs equals more vids. Mitchell Renz from Chat Sports, and you guys are watching Ravens Rundown. We're going to be breaking down the latest because John Harbaugh, he had some things to say today, though I'm going to warn you, these quotes are very vanilla, but he talked about Greg Rollman. We're also going to be breaking down the latest going on with the injury to Lamar Jackson and a very, well, juicy rumor around Tyron Matthew, the safety of the Kansas City Chiefs. Could he be coming over here to Baltimore? Now, let's first though, start this show off with a little talk about offensive coordinator of the Baltimore Ravens, Greg Roman. He's been with the team since 2019, and I think he's done a pretty good job utilizing Lamar Jackson and the offense around the running game. Though, a lot of people, when they point the finger and say, until the Ravens do this, which is getting the passing game going, that's the biggest knock on Roman. Now, I do think that he is smart in terms of building the offense around the offensive line, around the running backs that they have, and really, it got exposed this season because you lost your top three running backs, which nobody can really predict, but I do think this, you have to get better in the passing game. Now, in 2021, they were 13th in the NFL with 4,267 yards last season. Ranked dead last, but ranked first in rushing. And then in 2019, in Lamar's MVP season, I understand that these numbers don't look good, but I will take efficiency over yardage any day of the week. And Lamar Jackson, despite being 29th in the league, essentially, in passing yards, he also led the NFL in passing touchdowns. Now, you got to get more out of your young players like Rashad Bateman, Marquise Hollywood Brown. Mark Andrews is a stud, and there is room for improvement. Now, in terms of is he going to come back, the reason why a lot of people are talking about this is because Don Wink Martindale, obviously, last week, or maybe it's even two weeks at this point, I'm losing track of my time, was let go by Baltimore, and a lot of people thought, okay, maybe Greg Roman is the next guy out there. Here's what head coach John Harbaugh had to say about Greg Roman returning in 2022. I know, this is groundbreaking quote right here. I'm planning on Greg to be back. I believe Greg plans to be back. That's the plan, and I'm excited about that. That just sounds like a quote from my grandfather. I mean, it's just giving it to you straight, cut and dry. But what we're going to talk about now is your confidence level because that's what Chat Sports is about. We want interaction. I want to know what you guys are thinking. So I want you to scale it from one to 10. One being you are not confident whatsoever. 10, dude, you're locked and loaded. You love Greg Roman. What's your confidence level in him as OC? Now let's talk about the guy that runs the offense, quarterback Lamar Jackson. And the reason why we're going to bring up all this is because of the injury update. Now he tried to practice in week 16, but Unfortunately, was, able, was unable to do so because of that injury. Uh, along with a sprained ankle he was dealing with, he suffered the ankle injury back in week 14. And there was a time when, shit, you know, we were looking in terms of this Ravens team being a playoff caliber team. I actually thought that they were going to be locked and loaded. The injury to Lamar definitely hurt them on top of all the other injuries that this football organization had on both sides of the football. But the reason why you got to talk about this, because anytime you have a mobile quarterback, injuries are going to pop up. Certain things are going to happen. And if you're worried about your future, which, let's face it, the future of the Ravens, I still do believe is Lamar. But it comes down to how much money or would you even extend him at all right now? When you see guys like Mahomes making $45 million a year, when you got Josh Allen, the type of money he just made, Dak Prescott making that type of money, are you going to go out and pay a quarterback in Lamar Jackson who has struggled throwing the football this past year, struggled to stay healthy, and you're going to go out and give him $40 million a year? All that stuff remains to be seen seen especially since he's coming off his worst season of his young career now if anybody out there wants to bet on the Super Bowl dude you gotta bet on the Super Bowl I don't care if it's heads or tails I don't care what if it's what color Gatorade it's going to be poured on the team now I'm betting on the Bengals at plus four and if you want to go ahead and bet on the Super Bowl if you want to bet on uh, all the bunch of stuff maybe the Ravens winning the Super Bowl next year you got to go to chatsports.com slash bet 
Use the promo code that you see down below there. It's chat125. It's the best damn deal on the internet. That's just me being 100 with y'all. Like, I challenge anybody out there that can find a better deposit bonus. So for those of you that don't know what 125% deposit bonus means, it means if you put down $100, you get $125 for free to bet with. So let's just say you miss on Super Bowl 56. You're going to have plenty of other things to bet with. And if you want to bet on the Rams technically being on the road in their home stadium, which makes me laugh, you can do so. I'm betting the over, but also give me the Bengals plus four. Now we're going to keep some of this talking going here around Harbaugh and on the Lamar Jackson. Jackson injury. This is what Harbaugh had to say. He's still limping even at the end of the season. I talked to him Saturday and he said he felt great. He said he was really getting better and he said he felt really confident that he was going to get to get started. He said he's starting back to work the day after the Super Bowl. That's his time frame to get going. He should be healed up by then. So Lamar, his idea is, all right, he's going to try to get it going after the Super Bowl. All I know is this, when you talk about all the free agency moves that Baltimore can make, when your top conversation around your quarterback deals with extension, and then you bring in a new D.C., I know the offseason is going to be very, very interesting. Another reason to hit that sub button, another reason to turn on that notification, because will Lamar Jackson get an extension? If he does get an extension, we're going to go ahead and make a video here. I actually think that maybe we could even wrap our mind around making a video of what a potential Lamar Jackson extension would look like if that sounds good to y'all I want you to type extension down in the comments I'm going to be seeing how many we get so will Lamar get an extension this offseason why for yes or and for no when he is fully healthy when he has all of his options around him I think he's a top five talent now I don't know if he's a top five quarterback I think he's definitely the most athletic quarterback I have ever seen play and that's even over guys like Lamar or even over somebody like Michael Vick it's really going to come down to dollar dollar bills y'all so why for yes and for no will Jackson get an extension now let's get into some more juicy rumors here because I don't know about y'all I love the offseason because I love rumors. Now, the Ravens, they had interest in him when uh, the Texans were planning on trading him all the way back in 2019. No doubt would be a major upgrade to that secondary, and it's might be, it might break the bank. It might not. So here's the issue with Honey Badger. He's getting up there in age. Maybe he goes ahead and say, all right, I need to find a place where I can win right away, and I'm going to try to go in and make as much money as humanly possible because I still think he's regarded as one of the top safeties in the league. And realistically, since the Ravens, I can't even say moved on from Earl Thomas, since Earl Thomas decided to be a dummy, Baltimore has struggled a little bit finding a, we'll say, a high-level safety replacement. And that guy absolutely can be the Honey Badger, who is a little bit more of a Swiss Army Knife style of dude. Now, he had 76 tackles, three picks, six pass breakups. And when you look at the Ravens' depth chart as it stands right now, I like Deshaun Elliott, but he's going to be a free agent. I like Chuck Clark, but he's obviously getting up there in age. You have a few other people, and I'm actually a really big fan of our Darius Washington. Thought he was a solid UDFA signing, but none of those guys are the Honey Badger, and none of those guys are going to bring the experience that he's going to bring every single Sunday. So what do you all think here? I want you to type S for sign or P for pass. Should the Ravens go out and get Tyron Matthew? I like this young guy a lot, or I like him a lot as in terms of a player. But with the salary cap going up as much as it is, I could actually see him asking for a little bit of a hefty contract. I would pay him over $12 million a year because of his age. But you guys can let me know. S for sign, P for pass on the Honey Badger.